On June 24, 2014, Russian President Vladimir Putin was on an official visit to Vienna. Klagemauer TV was there live at the press conference that was held during his stay. Once more, the Russian head of state demonstrated that Russia has no interest whatsoever in a war with Ukraine and made a further move towards de-escalation. Immediately before his arrival in Vienna, Putin sent a letter to the Russian Federation Council. The content of this text was his request that the Council revoke the authorization which he had received during the crisis in Crimea, allowing him to intervene with military power in case of an emergency in the bordering country. Thank God we were able to do without such a military action and the number of troops by an international agreement has not been raised, meaning the Russian president did not have to make use of this right. I did in fact send such a letter to the Federation Council today. At the same time, Putin criticized the Ukrainian government's attempts at peace as insufficient and demanded that their words should be not left empty. From my point of view, and this I have already told them, not enough has been done to end this crisis. To simply say that we are trying to reach a seven-day ceasefire without actually putting the weapons down and destroying them is certainly not a step towards peace but it is a step in the right direction. We believe that radical powers in the right sector have yet to be disarmed, and even though it has been discussed often, many times, and has even been promised that these, in fact, illegal groups will disarm, they have not done this. And that is why I think it is pointless to demand such an action from the separatists, because they understand, today we lay down our weapons and tomorrow we will be burned alive, just like in Odessa. A closing statement showed clearly that Putin was and is not interested in a so-called incorporation of eastern Ukraine. He foresees a successful peace process in eastern Ukraine as soon as the Ukrainian government really takes the people's demands seriously. The people's call for more self-government must be heard and answered by the government. There is also necessity for a reform of the Ukrainian basic laws. How will the residents live in this region? How will their rights be guaranteed? Valued viewers, now we will see if the Ukrainian government is able to advocate for the concerns of their southeastern regions or if they will find a reason to execute Poroshenko's Plan B. With this he threatened a total military offensive strike against the Donbas region. Klagemauer TV is already receiving reports and images of heavy Ukrainian armaments on their way to the eastern part of the country. And this during the current armistice. Is the present ceasefire maybe only buying time in order to prepare for the actual offensive strike, the plan B? One can only hope that Putin's most recent attempt to achieve peace will bear fruit. Thank you for watching.